We're going to constrain hands to different parts of the body. So as he moves around, the hands stay locked on that part of the body. Okay. And now we're not going to just parent them, we're not just going to constrain them, because if you did that, then you can't add the additional a bit of realism. You can't adjust it. And yeah. So we're going to add a group spacer manipulation control. So first, we create the locator. Create. Locator. All right. Can't see it, so I'm going to make it bigger. Five. I'm going to leave it at zero, zero, zero. Name it. Right hand control. Or I'll put LOC for locator. LOC for locator. All right. And now, immediately without moving it, I'm going to hit Control G to group that. Boom. So now it's inside a group. I'm going to name that one. Right hand locator group. All right. And now. I want this hand to go on the neck. So his hands around his neck, wherever he moves, it goes with it. I'm going to select the neck control. Boom. And then I can't get to the group from there. So window outliner. So in here, I'm going to hold control, right hand, locate a group. So now I have them both selected in that order. First, the thing I want to follow, and the thing I want to follow, constrain. Let's look at the parent constraint options. We're not going to have maintain offset on. It's off. So that way it'll snap directly where it is. So add. Boom. Snaps directly to the neck. If you moved the locator before grouping it, the locator might be over here. And you're just going to have to reposition it. That's fine. Or type zero on it. All right. So that first step is done. Next, we want this hand to go where that locator is. It's done. Not the group, because if we try and move the group, it's going to stay there. It's going to be locked there. Can't animate it. That's why we have a locator beneath the group so we can animate that while still staying with the arm. All right, little offset. So select locator, shift select the hand. We know this setting is already parent constrained. If maintaining offset is off, click parent, boom, snaps there. Ah, it's okay, it's broken. See that, it's all busted, but it's still right because the locator was not lined up perfectly. If you want, you could uh, constrain the locator to the hand just to get the position. So there we go. I line it up. But see how we're moving the locator to line it up, not the group, and not the IK control. See now the IK control is doing whatever the locator is doing. That's another point. You got to make sure it's on IK. If this is FK, it's not going to work that way. All right. So then we line it up, I'm going to set a key on that locator, not the locator group, not the IK handle. All right, boom. Now wherever that neck goes, look, it's constrained. And you can see what's hyperextending right there. So you'll move the body in closer for the shoulder. So boom. So with the end, we can animate this if we want. As it's going down, we can animate it up like that, counter this a little bit, so that as it goes down, animates up, goes that side. We can rotate this like that. Count the animation it out. So that there's a little bit more <laughs> adjustment in realism. You can't see it here because it's so primitive. But that's why we have that in there. Alright, now let's do that same thing again. Alright. From scratch. Create. Locator. Boom. Too small. Make it bigger. 25. <laughs> Rename it. Uh, left hand locator. Boom. Immediately group it. What's that doing? Window outliner. F. Let's look. This is the group we created underneath it. It's locator. So the locator is directly below below the group. We name the group left hand locator group. All right. So sometimes, you say we want to hook onto this arm, but check this out, it's a stretchy arm. Wah! If I do just to this control right there, and then they stretch the arm, it's not going to stay with it. So we see what's moving. Oh, inside here, the joints are moving with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that joint. Boom. 
Am I going to select the locator to snap to it? Right here? No. Because then that will defeat the purpose of having two. So, Windows, Outliner, from lo Joint, Control, Select, the Locator Group. So I can still move the locator beneath it independently. Constrain, Parent, I know Offset is, Maintain Offset is turned off. Boom. Locator snaps to that joint. But actually the group snapped to it and the locator is just within it. All right. So now, let's put this back to zero. That's not all work. Boom. See how that stick with it? And now when we attach the hand to the locator, it's going to stick with that too, wherever it goes. All right. So select the locator first, because that's what we want to follow. That's what we want to constrain to. Shift select the IK handle. Constrain. Parent. Boom. Lined up. Snapped right to it. Now we adjust this locator to be around the hand the way we want it to be. So now, let's move him. Ooh, the other guy's moving. Hand is staying locked to the arm. And hand is staying locked to the neck. All right, and you can do independent animation here. So you can have it come off if you want. And animate back on if you want. All right, and that's how you create a separate control to lock a hand to something and still have the freedom to animate it.